That's right, we're finally doing, uh, back with another episode of TFC Single Player. It's been a couple of months since the last one, and I do apologize for that for the viewers who love watching the series, but don't worry, we are back. So, um, the last time we played this, it's been a while, so right now I want to make a, a proper uh, bed so we can sleep away the nights here, because we are going to try to find some beehives so we can get some bees going on here so yeah i'm gonna quickly make up this let's make this bed real quick and then we'll start trying to find some new terrain and get some beehives so we can get some bees and honey so we can make oh i need to take out down these torches because torches have been changed torches now uh set blocks on fire as you just saw here it it puts out little like sparks in the air so it gets get a little better demonstration of this so yeah you see those little sparks coming out so if if it's near around like wood or something like that, it will set fire to stuff now. So torches are not are not a safe uh, torches are not a safe uh, light source and go to a source of lighting now. So there are now in the replacement of these torches, there are uh, now candles in the game that you can get from beeswax so we need to get some honeycombs to make some beeswax so we can get some candles going on here and the last time we've been here too the roofs have changed so we got the new roofs here now in this world so let's make the uh, new bed real quick we got one more needing to get here all right three linen so this should work or is it is it lumber it's probably lumber Yep, there we go. Now we've got an, a proper bed. We don't need any of this stuff. We don't need that. For sure, we don't need our chisel. And we don't... I don't think we're going to need our prospector's pick either. So, alright, let's... Actually, we'll take that just to see if we can find any other... Uh, any other uh, ores on the way. Cause that's actually probably a good idea. So, we're going to go adventuring out that direction over there. So, I'm going to go ahead and start wandering the woods. I should probably get some other food too, actually. Um, so I'm going to start heading on over there, and if I find anything interesting, I will let you know. Looks like we found some more bismuth coal. I'm pretty sure it's a bismuth coal. Yep, we got more coal over here, so let's mark that on the map real quick. New waypoint. And there's also, uh, I just found the uh, new chunk boundary of the new terrain because this is older terrain generation now of course um but since the new updates the, the terrain's been changed and now there are shrubs that spawn so like there's the shrubs that are around over here so these are what the bushes look like so there's bushes now and it's probably a good idea to honestly get some of this uh these flowers for our bees because we're going to be trying to get bees here so these are going to need flowers, so let's grab a bunch of these flowers real quick. And, of course, let's sleep the night away real quick. So we don't have to deal with any of the mobs. Looks like we found some sulfur. This is really handy, so we got to definitely mark this on the map. And we found a hot spring here. But sadly, uh, this looks really weird here. I've never seen a hot spring like this, so the the... Usually they're in like little pools, but it looks like the rocks broke or something. There might be some more over here. Um, hopefully, yeah. Okay, yeah. These are hot springs too, and I believe they heal you. But we don't. We're not down any health right now, so we don't, really don't need it. So great. We got sulfur and hot springs right here. That's awesome. Just found a very large sample of uh, limonite around here. Like right over yeah, right there. Medium sample, large. So we found some limonite over here. So that is nice. I just marked it down. So that is nice to know for the future, or probably very soon, because I need to I need to get more. I need to go do some mining soon, so this is nice to do, so I can find some more ores while trying to find these beehives. I need to get some better uh, weapons and tools here. And right next to the pine tree, there's another really big tree. I th forgot what this one was called though, but yeah, there's another really big tree. Wow, that's awesome. 
Still no bees, man. Still no bees. Come on, bees. Where are you? All right, I found some apple juice. I just found one right over there. It looks like the apples are starting to come out now. So I got some red apples. So this will be enough to make a sapling, which is awesome. And now we've got some... Oh my gosh, they're coming. They're like coming out right now. And these are green apples, I think. Yep. Yeah. And we've got green apples. This is fantastic. So now we can make uh, cider, applejack, anything to do with apple drinks we can make now, which is amazing. So this is going to be awesome. I've been waiting to get some fruit trees going here now. So this will be great. So when we get the bees, we'll be able to, uh, oh, dang it. We'll be able to, uh, make some, you get even more fruit from the, from the bees. So this is sweet. Still no bees though. Still no bees. And it looks like we're coming into the Asian continent because we've got some bamboo over there, which is really cool. We have not seen bamboo yet in this world, so that is new for sure. So that's exciting. Maybe we'll get some, uh, chi I think chicken spawn in Asia. I think so, but if I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, but yeah, still moving on here. Okay, so I think I found some birch trees, and birch trees are... One of my favorite colors of wood in the game. So I would much like to have some of these saplings here. So I can grow some back at the house. And I just think I, think I just saw some ore in the mountain over here. So let's quickly just check out and see what that is. Man, I didn't think, I didn't think it was going to be this hard and annoying to find some bees. What is this? Bismuth, we don't need that. We've got lots of that already. All right, so I'm going to try to get some, uh, hopefully, uh, birch tree saplings here, and then I'll meet you again. All right, we are actually ended up back here at the house. So I'll just sh uh, show you where I, was, where I ended up going. So I ended up, I went up originally going this way. We came this way. I went over here. Then I came this way to try this out. Nothing over here. Then I decided to go all the way back towards this area. Go all the way towards the north. And try out this area. Which I actually ended up finding some... It's I went by the area where I found that marble a while ago. And I found some birch trees. So I got two birch sapling, birch tree saplings. And that one that I thought was a... Was a... a uh, a birch tree, that was an aspen sapling, and I found that around over here. And I went out this way, and then I found it out that I ended up finding a a savanna. So I found some uh, baobab trees over here, so I went over here, and I found, ended up getting some, finding two beehives out over here. I, w I didn't expect it to take that long to get some uh, bees, man. I have another... Uh, world that I play on for fun on my free time and I found beehives like really quickly and pretty close to each other these ones were like spread out one was over here it was like right over here and one was like right over here it was like it was all over the place man but it's all good I found some hematite ore sticking out of the uh out of the side of a hill and mountain so I picked up some of that so I got 10 of that now which is pretty sick we add that to the collection and I found, we got some more apples, so we need to make some apple, uh, saplings. So we need to make another, some more, uh, uh, large vessels here so we can make some saplings. So we'll do that episode. But the big thing is we got the honeycombs. So now we can finally make some beehives here. I'm, I'm going to make a hiking stick. So I don't, I don't think I actually end up making one on here on this world. There we go. Now we got a wooden staff. Looking all cool now with our staff. Woo! Let's go ahead and make some straw baskets. Um, here we go. I think it was like this. Yeah, there we go. Let's make one more. So we got two of these uh, beehive baskets going on here. And for right now, we'll just put them. Um... Do I do this? How do I make these things? I forgot. How do I make a, a basket beehive? Let's see. Oh, it's with a knife. Okay, I forgot. There we go. Now we've got two beehive nests. And for right now, we'll just put them right here. But we'll make we'll put them in a proper spot later. 
Maybe like a beekeeping house or something like that. So good, we great. We got our beehives here. So they'll make some more honeycombs and make form they'll also make more fertile honeycombs, so we'll be able to make even more beehives. So that is awesome. And we gotta be sure to put some of the flowers around here. So the bees will pollinate. Perfect. Alright. So next I think it would be nice. Oh, I don't even remember getting that. Um, let's put this away real quick, and I think the next- Oh yeah, I also got some native gold, and here's the aspen sapling. Where did I put the- I know I had two, uh, birch saplings. Where did they go? Did I put them somewhere? Oh, please don't tell me I lost them. I'm gonna have to go back and go get them. Yeah, that's probably what happened. What the heck, man? I don't remember that happening at all. Oh, well, I'll go over there sometime, because I need to go get some, uh- Metals and stuff that I found over there anyways, so now Let's carry on with the next thing So I decided to do some little renovating around the blacksmith shop and I took out the fire pit that we built here I think like two episodes ago or something like that and we're gonna be putting our uh, forge down here instead So we'll put that right above the chimney right here And we need to light it up of course Come on, baby. There we go. And now we've got a forge and I started smelting some of our car collecting some of the charcoal that we got from our charcoal pit because I still have not yet to harvest that stuff yet. <clears throat> and I also moved that stone anvil into the blacksmith shop finally. So we've got that going on here now. So now we're starting to put stuff in here now for the blacksmithing. And yeah, we're still waiting on this thing. And once this is done, We'll start making our saplings, and I think we'll call it for an episode for today. Oh, yeah, by the way, here's the charcoal pit. And the way you harvest it, if you've never played this game before, is you get a shovel and you just dig it up with the charcoal, and that's that's how you get charcoal, basically. Um, but, yeah, so as soon as we start making the, start setting up the uh, sap, fruit saplings stuff with the large vessels, we'll end that episode, and the next episode we'll... Hope I'd like to get started started on making some candles so we can get some more a uh, beeswax here. So uh, you make beeswax. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can also make roads now. So if you right click with the uh, shovel, just like vanilla Minecraft, you can make uh, paths now. So now we can make like dirt paths and stuff like that now. So we can do some of that too, maybe. Um, I don't want this to be a path right there. Whoopsie. So let's fix that real quick. And there we go. So yeah, I have to do. I like to get some more candle stuff. So we'll need to make some more beehives. So what the way you make it is you gotta get. You can once you get the honey combs filled with honey. There's a normal honeycomb and there's the fertile one. You get the empty honeycombs by scraping all the honey out with the bowl. So you get a honey bowl and you put the whole the bowl of honey in a barrel and you can collect honey. To eat of course or you can use it to make uh, cider or not cider uh, honey brandy if you wanted to but then you take the empty combs and you melt them melt them down in a large vessel and that's how you make beeswax and then you take the beeswax and make candles out of them so we'll do that next episode and thankfully this thing just finished so let's go ahead and finish this up and then oh yeah I forgot I got a leftover chimney from the from the blacksmith shop, but we don't need that, so we'll just, we'll just shove those away in there right now. Um, okay, so I, the last time I used this thing, I was I was making red bricks, a uh, red brick. So we got some of that now. Oh, let's put that in there. Let's just here we go. Let's get all this. Whoops. Okay, we're almost done. Almost got it. One two three and then we got to get this one up and then the way you make uh apple or uh not apples like sa uh, saplings fruit tree saplings you got to put your things down like this 
and then you put two rows of uh, dirt around like so <clears throat> and there's like a certain amount and a certain ounce of fruit that you have to put in here so my I'm, I'm gonna have to cut up some of my apples here just where do my apples go there they are okay let's get some of our apples here and we need to empty out our inventory because there's gonna be we're gonna be cutting up our apples here we're gonna be getting a lot of apples in our inventory um, let's put that let's put all this junk away all that junk away <clears throat> Okay, let's chop off this stuff. Uh, okay, mm. that might work. Okay, let's do this. Mm. Will that work? Well, let's just try. We'll just try these two, and we'll do two green apples and two red apples, just to see how this goes. They should work, no problem. Whoops. Now let's. Where'd I put all, I think I, oh yeah, I put all the dirt away. Gosh dang it, where'd I put all the dirt? Two rows of dirt. And then that fruit in the middle. And then we need one more here now. And this is gonna be another red apple. Yep, sweet. And then we have to leave them open because once they're done, you'll see the little saplings poke out of the uh, vessels there. All right. So I think that is going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, see you later, everybody.